Right, so today I want to take you on a tour of the eye hospital where I work. So as you're looking here, this is the south entrance to the hospital. And this is the road that I live on. And I just want to show you my property first. So we have a swing here. We have a lovely, beautifully maintained garden. I like my flowers. And just looking around the rear of the property. There's another road to the south. I have a little veranda there, if we can call it that. And this is the rest of my garden. I have a sand pit there. And just before we go into the eye hospital, I'll just show you quickly inside my property. So I have a flat screen TV there, viewing area there, lots of plants, a little lounge area there. is my bed and storage area there and into the kitchen fairly open plan it's the fridge my appliance is there all right okay so that's my property not far to go when I go to work so I have to just make our way across and this is the hospital I'm going to be showing you the eye department so we have a base for the emergency vehicles there on the south side this is an aerial shot of the eye hospital there Right, we've got some furry characters at the top there. Not sure whose those belong to. So we've got five main floors on the west wing. We have the west entrance there. And this is an aerial view of the neighbourhood. Okay, we can have a little look at the perimeter regions a little later. But I want to show you inside the eye hospital. So this is the south entrance. If we make our way inside, we immediately land at the reception area. Keep all the current patient records here and files I have lots of seating areas which you'll see a little bit later so that's one there make our way down here another seating area typical hospital hard work fairly bland and into the main waiting area here the patients shall remain until they're called through to the specific department. Large screen there so they can be entertained while they're waiting. The area is very well lit, as you can see, nice and bright. And we have lots of areas for natural light to enter the hospital as well. More artwork there, very simple, minimalistic. So let's begin our tour. So let's just have a look what the schedule is on the TV for the patients tomorrow. So first we'll have Diagnosis Murder, Murder She Wrote, Columbo, Quincy Emmy and Breaking Bad. So a fair bit of entertainment there for the patients tomorrow while they're waiting. They can watch a little bit of Dick Van Dyke. 
and Pete Falk. Right, so we have some stairways to the first floor there. But let's make our way to the west on our tour. Another waiting area here. This hospital is very big on greenery and oxygen production. So it is quite complex, but let's go down the corridor here to the west wing. Another waiting area there. Another there. And let's have a little look what we have here. Right, so on the ground floor we have the first ophthalmology consulting room here. have a little look inside. So this is where the patient will come and see the ophthalmologist for their consultation. Standard fare really for the ophthalmology clinic. I want a little bit of light coming through, if any. The ocular equipment there, the seating area here. A little fountain there, reading material, storage area there and a little bed if necessary. So that's the first consulting room. Let's have a look at consulting room number two. Right, so differ slightly in arrangement. But again, quite similar to the other room really. Bed, seating areas, Ocular equipment storage area, standard artwork, and just a little bit of natural light to come through there. Okay, let's have a little look around here. Nothing much to show you there. Let's make our way this way and see what we have next. Right, so we have the staff library here. You can see staff library. Where they can come and do some reading and loan some of the books that are available. So the hospital provides a library for staff. There's also study reading areas here. Plenty of titles that have been donated to the hospital. Artwork there, seating area. Quite a relaxing room with lots of natural light coming through the large surface area windows there. Have a little look at the ceiling. Beautifully decorated. So that's the hospital library. Research and development. This is an area that's off limits to me. Can have a little look inside. Okay, so we can't enter there. Making our way further along. What do we have? Oh, yes, we have the toilets located here. And here. Let's have a little look in the male toilet. So that's the north entrance to the hospital. There are some more areas I wanted to show you. You can find them. Staff only area there. That's another reading room where they can take their lunch breaks. That is the paediatric reception, which we'll come to a little bit later. There is another area I want to show you. I can locate it. Let's go this way. And across here. Oh, 
Ah oh, yes, so here we are at the OCT and visual field room. Now, this is where the patient comes, uh, usually in the care of the nurse, to have their scans done, which is the OCT of the back of the eyes, or their visual fields to be checked if they're under the glaucoma or neuro-ophthalmology department. So let's have a little look. Quite a large room, as you can see, reading area here. The visual field machines and OCT machines are located here. They're just covered under the protective layers there. So that's where the patient will come and have their checks. Standard artwork there. All right. It's a very important room. There is one other room I want to locate. Might be here. Yes, so this is where the patient comes to have their diabetic screening. So let's have a little look inside. This is where they'll come and have their vision checked on the vision charts there. First we have to check the patient's vision. And they're seated in the test chairs there. We keep all the eye drops in there. So once we've checked the vision, the patients will be dilated. And then they'll have their photographs taken of the retinas, where we monitor for any diabetic retinopathy. So we have our own dedicated diabetic screening unit right I want to take you back to the east entrance of the hospital which is located here large seating area for families this is the paediatric reception we have the records there and as a staff member, I'll just show you inside, we have the overflow of patient records kept here. And we have an area for the staff to take their breaks here at lunchtime. So that just takes us back through to the reception area, like so. Okay, so that's pretty much everything on the ground floor. Let's make our way up to the first floor. Right, so this is where we send our paediatric patients with their parents or guardians. Uh, prior to having their appointment with the paediatric ophthalmologist or the orthoptic team so this is where we've really tried to make the area happy bright playful have some games here that the children can play and here we have the funny artwork there and there lots of natural light again can come through people can enjoy these views as they're looking into the village. There we go. So we try to keep it bright and happy. Moving on with the tour. This is the refraction room where the children will have their drops in and have their eyes checked for prescription. So we have two areas for refraction store all our necessary materials here. So we have the duochrome there, seating areas here, and one station there. More storage areas, so pretty standard room. But if I take you 
this way. This is where things become a little bit more exciting for the child. We have the paediatric ophthalmology consulting room number one located here. We like to refer to this as the honey floor. Oops, honey floor room. As you can see, we say to the children that the bees have made this floor for them to enjoy and make them happy. So this is the honey floor. Large consulting room. Uh, a magic table there for the child. Some more material there. Duochrome there. This is where the areas of consultation take place. So that is paediatric consulting room number one. If we go to number two, this is where we have the sea floor. Have a little look. The sea floor room to keep the children happy and entertained. Well lit. Consulting area here. So that is the second consulting room. Right, if I remember rightly, that's the way to the second floor. Let's go around here have a little look at the orthoptics department where the children come and have their eyes checked by the orthoptists. This is the room where you'll find lots of fixation sticks and gluders. We have the slime floor for the children to enjoy, the slime floor. Consulting area here. Not sure what that is there. And we have the storage box for the material there. Orthoptists reading material and the artwork there. So that is the paediatric room with the slime floor there. That room's yet to be occupied. Right, so let's carry on and make our way to the second floor. First floor is dedicated to paediatrics. Right, so here we are, level two. Ocular treatments and ocular surgery. So this is where the patients will be sent to when they're having surgery and specific treatments for the eyes. So we have the waiting area here. Reception area here. Files. Staff only access. a little break area and more material there patient material so we'll arc our way around there we go we have a flag of recognition there for the stellar work that we do here so the first treatment room is the vitriol retinal room where patients will come and have treatment for retinal tears and retinal detachment. So that's treatment room number one there. Where the vitriol retinal surgeon carries out their duties. Down here, like most hospitals should have, is a pharmacy. So let's have a little look at the pharmacy here. So patients can collect medication that they've been prescribed on the day from here. So we have the medications kept there. Have a little consultation room here for the patient and pharmacist to have a chat. And let me show you this area, one of my favourite areas. 
we have an overflow of medication storage kept here and a little private area for the pharmacy staff to take a break okay so that's the pharmacy and a little area here waiting for their consultation there. all right so that's the hospital pharmacy reception area let's have a little look down the corridor here right so this is where we keep our ocular drugs this is the storage room this is where we keep things like our tropicamide cyclopentolite phenyl ephrine all our minims that we use in the clinics and further down we have the reading room this is specifically used by the ophthalmologists I have another entrance here where they can carry out any deep learning wide array of volumes there from the optometric world and ophthalmology and medicine there right along the hallway here this leads us to the corneal department the corneal specialist operates from here this is where the patient will come for things like corneal transplants, cross-linking surgery, that kind of thing. That's the consulting room. And we have a second corneal consulting room here. Okay, further along. a little look okay so I want to show you this new area here this has been recently developed this is the contact lens storage bank area so this is where we store all our specific contact lenses soft and hard medical contact lenses such as bandage lenses are kept here hard lenses for Keratoconus fitting. So it's like so. We need a good supply of contact lenses here. And here is where the contact lens optometrist works from in the hospital. We have lots of bays for contact lens fitting. Extends all the way down here. It's one of our largest consulting rooms. That's the second entrance. So we usually have two contact lens specialists working each day. Sometimes three. There's a little reception area there. So this is all to do with contact lenses, this part here and here. Um, let's just go down here. Contact lenses to the that's corneal department, our waiting area. Oh yes, so just coming from this part of the waiting area is the glaucoma department located here so if you're having any treatment for your glaucoma this is where you'll come 
It's where the specialists carry out procedures such as trabeculectomy, iridotomies and iridectomies here. The glaucoma treatment room here. Ocular plastics, another important part of the ophthalmology unit. This is where you'll come and have things done or treatment for your lids or your tear ducts, for example. Okay, so that's that room there. Ocular plastics. And there we have the contact lens department. Let me just show you a couple of interesting things this side of the hospital. So if we go down here, we have the green room for ophthalmologists to come and relax. It's a bit of a quiet space. Lots of natural light can come through. Nice views of the village. And the greenery there. Now, if the ophthalmologists need a little bit of downtime after a trying day, we have the putting room here where they can come and practice their golf putting and the artificial surface there. So that's the putting room. Making our way down here, that's the contact lens bank, if I'm not mistaken. We have a room that's unoccupied there, and that has been used by this department. Oh yes, probably been used by the macular department. Yeah. Now this is the treatment area for wet macular degeneration because we have a high demographic of patients with wet macular degeneration who need regular treatment, regular injections into the eye to control the uh, macular activity. This is where they come and have their injections. This is the macular department. Lots of bays. Be a few ophthalmologists working in here also checking things like vision and having OCT performed on the ground floor the results all come back to here to the reception area there all right so the lead ophthalmologist is Mr. Fotherington and this is his office here. Let's have a little look. So a little private area. Very much a horticulturalist, likes his plants. He has his materials there and there. So that's Mr. Fotherington's office. So I think that's everything today with the eye hospital that I wanted to show you. Just a little day in life. Make our way back down through the paediatric area. There we go. And to the ground floor there. Let me show you a little bit of the hospital. So this is the east entrance there show you a little bit that's the east entrance another area for emergency vehicles we have the north entrance there show you a little bit of an aerial shot of the hospital it's very big the surrounding countryside there. And 
this is the west area, west side of the hospital there. And another little village there. And back to the south side here. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to show you today. I hope you've had fun. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I'm going back to my home. And I'm going to get some sleep. Okay. So that's everything. Thank you very much. And I may see you next time.